Let's talk about pointed dripstone. Okay, so this is pointed dripstone. You will find it in dripstone caves, which as of right now in the Bedrock Edition is not something that we have. But when it's fully implemented, they will be in dripstone caves. Okay, and there's actually a dripstone block. Again, we don't have that at the moment. Okay, but when you put a pointed dripstone underneath the block, okay, when you, when you put it underneath hanging down, it's called a stalactite. When you put it on the ground, pointed up, it's a stalagmite. But overall, the block itself is called a pointed dripstone. Now, you can make them larger. Okay, I went all the way up to the sky limit. Okay, you can make them larger both, both ways. So both top and the bottom, as you saw earlier. Okay, and they look really cool when they're hanging down. They're little spikes. And you'll notice that when there's nothing above it, it'll just randomly drip water, uh, water particles in the overworld. Those particles can't do anything because there's actually no water above it. Uh, it's just for the animation. Uh, and when it's in the nether, if you did the same thing in the nether and there was no water, uh, no lava above it or, or anything like that, obviously you can't put water in the nether, um, it'll just randomly drip lava. Okay, and that's just the particle effect. Uh, it can be waterlogged, as you can see in there. It can be waterlogged. So water does not break it. Uh, when you have a, a pointed dripstone with water that is one to, two, well, it can't be one because it has to have a block, but two blocks above it, not higher than that. If it was three blocks, it wouldn't count. Um, it'll drip the water, but it can also fill up the cauldron. There is a 17.6% chance that this right here will fill up this cauldron. I don't think it's implemented yet into the game because I've had this going for a while, but when it is fully implemented, this will fill up with water in time. And same thing, when there's lava two blocks above it, not three or four or anything like that, there is a 5.9% chance that this will fill up the cauldron. So it makes lava renewable. Okay, now you'll see them randomly. Let's see if we can see them here for a bit. You'll see that now that there's water above it, it'll drip water. Here, you see this one dripping lava. Um, like I said, without anything above it, it's still going to have the water particle effect here and uh, the, the lava effect in the nether. Okay, so that's pretty cool that we can get that. Again, we don't have the dripstone block, but when we do... Uh, this will be the crafting recipe for it. Okay, so you take the point four of these pointed uh, drip stones, you put them in the bottom uh, left and making a square. Okay, that way. They also do damage to mobs. Okay, so let's break that. Okay, you can stand on it. It, it doesn't hurt afterwards, but it's just the initial fall that, that does damage to them. Okay. Kind of weird that it doesn't do anything after that. And it also does damage uh, when it drops. Now, the damage that it deals is two hearts of damage for each block of distance after two. What does that mean? Here's where it's hanging. Okay, this is the, this is the point. Here's two blocks. So these blocks don't count. But now, starting from this one, it's going to go two, four. Should be six uh, things of damage. Six points of damage. So let's break it. Boom. Okay, so that, that guy got hurt pretty significantly. Can I hit him with my hand and kill him? One, two, three, four. Wow, that actually did that, that actually did do a lot of damage. Okay. Uh, you'll also notice that they don't sit directly in the center. They're kind of like bamboo. They go off. Same thing with the top ones. They don't you'll notice that this one is kind of a little bit more a little bit centered right. This one is kind of way off to the back left. Okay, so they're all over the place. Uh, but in terms of damage that they do, that you saw, it's uh, very, very similar to the anvil, okay, in terms of the actual damage dealt. Now, I don't think this is implemented either, but a trident is supposed to be able to break it immediately. Yeah, it's not. So a trident should break this once it's fully implemented. I don't know about a bow. I didn't uh, see anything on that. But the bow may work as well, although I doubt it, and, and the crossbow too, who knows. Um, but the fastest way to actually um, break a, a pointed dripstone is with a pickaxe. Okay, just the regular pickaxe is the fastest, although you can use any tool to break it. Um, but I really wish that those two worked. That would be kind of cool from, from far away, right? Although the trident will work, so that's a, that's a guarantee that it will work. It is transparent, so you can have it you know, underneath chests, or you can have chests underneath it, and it will open up. I don't know why you'd want to have this, but you never know. It will work. It is transparent. 
And when you connect them, or so if you have a, a stalagmite and a, stalag and a stalactite like this together, and then you put a block in the middle of it, it does connect it. It's kind of cool. Now, let's see if we kind of point it at the top and connect it. Will it? Let's see. Yeah. So see how like it's bigger on the top and smaller on the bottom that we just put? It's the opposite way if you put it on the bottom. So depending on where you connect it, that's the part that's going to be bigger. And it does create a very cool, like the higher up you go, it does create kind of a cool effect. I'm thinking that you can put these like, you know, in caves and uh, kind of create like almost naturalized pillars, right, with, with using the dripstone. Like they have stuff like this in RPGs. Can you go between them? Oh, well, I, I have the one block. That was a really stupid thing to say. Obviously, you can't go between them. That was, ignore what I just said. Um, but yeah, I mean, think think about how cool these kind of look together. You can have a bunch of these, I mean, going really, really high that you can kind of maybe even create um, mazes and stuff like that. I don't know. Pretty cool. But yeah, this is the pointed dripstone. Uh, right now, I mean, there's so many uses for it, especially with the fall damage. You can create, you know, pits and traps and the uh, the fact that you can, you know, collect uh, lava and have that as a renewable sort of resource. That is uh, that is fantastic. OK, so that is that is all I got for the point of dripstone. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Captain Obvious out. Peace.